what can you do now? Because there is a government of national unity, a technocratic government that's backed both by Mahmoud Abbas and Hamas. The United States, the European Union have said, we're going to give this technocratic government a chance. We're going to see what transpires. The US is providing aid to it. So don't you have to work with what the international community says is acceptable? Otherwise, you'll find yourself isolated. Well, sometimes you have to do the right thing. And if parts of the international community have accepted or acquiesced to Mahmoud Abbas's embrace of Hamas, that's unfortunate. That's a big mistake. Because what was their assumption? You know, and you can understand their assumption. They thought if Hamas embraces Mahmoud Abbas, then maybe Hamas will become more moderate. Maybe it'll stop its insistence on armed resistance, on Mukawama, which is so central to its political thinking. But the exact opposite occurred. Hamas actually began with, with rocket fire in a systematic way against Israeli cities, and now it has massively escalated that rocket fire so that in one evening you can have 80 rockets falling on Israel. But just looking that at, isn't moderation, okay, but looking at that's the, war. Looking at the wider picture, Martin Indyk, who until June the 30th was the United States' top envoy um, on this, uh, the, the, the conflict, uh, he is now reported as saying that when it comes to the blame game, he blames the Palestinians and the Israelis 50-50. You're not absolved of blame for the failure to make any progress on the peace process. Well, you know, I know Martin Indyk for many years, and he is reflecting a certain U.S. position that wants to keep the uh, peace process going in the future, so you blame both sides. But, you know, I was there. I was involved in this process, and I saw the efforts of Prime Minister Netanyahu to make this process work. Unfortunately, when Mahmoud Abbas sat in March with President Obama, and President Obama said, will you support this framework that we've worked out Mahmoud Abbas said, I'll get back well, to Well, that's you. not what Martin Indyk said. Abbas goes to but Kuwait. But that's not what Martin Indyk... Please, let me finish. But Yeah, but that's not what Martin Indyk is saying. You say you know what he said, but in March this year, he said Netanyahu effectively checked out from the talks and stopped responding to proposals from the Obama administration. Well, look, uh, there was a, an open dialogue between the United States and Israel, and we hope we have that open dialogue in the future. But unfortunately, for his own reasons, maybe as political constraints... Mahmoud Abbas did not agree to the parameters proposed by the United States for a framework, and as a result, the situation just deteriorated. 